we've gotten some new information pertaining to the upcoming cargo gameplay as well as personal and persistent hangers for the upcoming star season alpha 3.23.x patch so now this information comes from the recent star citizen live episode and uh, we're going to go through it as well as um, i'll be giving my thoughts on each point as well so let's go straight into it all right so one of the some of the key questions that they did ask the very first one was where are we with cargo for 3.23 it says we are not far from releasing item bank personal and instant hangers freight elevators and cargo hauling missions it's big and it's hard to estimate all the unknowns but it will release in the 3.23.x and it's only weeks off it caused instability and we want to release a stable 3.23 so it's better to take more time to stabilize the cargo work before releasing it to the wilds of the live servers and avoid another 318 so i think that's fair for the fact that um it's it's really mature of cig to go ahead and pull it so that they can release it in a better state because although people are upset that this these features have been pulled um we would be even more upset if they did release it and it broke the servers you know so um, I think um, it's still a good thing that uh, they've learned from the past and they they want to release it in a better stable quality. Okay, so I think that's fair. Uh, next question they asked was, how do you prevent unwanted people from getting into your personal hangar? This is a question that I had myself. So the answer, this is the first release of the personal hangers and there will be more work on this. But for now, the player will get a warning and will be kicked out as a ship will be impounded which is fair enough it's something i expected and it also says here party members will have full access to your hangar even if you are currently not in your hangar so that's interesting um i don't know i don't know if that's a good thing to give them full access but i'm sure they will work on this where you can set the permission levels um for party members or individuals um i think that would be a good quality of life update for the future but right now i think it's fair uh to have it this way um if you don't want anybody to access your it, your stuff don't have them in your party simple all right um next they asked uh once released we will receive a personal hangar that welcomes the biggest ship in our fleet what if your biggest ship is a medium size and you then buy a bigger ship this is a question that i also had myself and it says um, for this release, if you buy a new ship that's bigger than the current hangar, you will have a public hangar and not your own hangar. So don't leave anything in that public hangar before it will be removed after it's left in the public hangar. I can see this happening. I can foresee uh, sometimes forgetting, uh, you know, thinking that it's your personal hangar, but it's really a public hangar. Um, I think if i think one way to help mitigate this is if you decide to leave a public hangar and you initiate atc there should be a warning that reminds you uh to please uh remove any items from this hangar before you leave or else you will lose it if they do that i think that will help the players um prevent uh loss of items um just by uh, confusing the the hangers and thinking that it's your personal but it's really a public hanger okay so up next it says if your party member is in a hanger of player a and you use a freight elevator as a player b um, to get your own inventory and it says you will get your own inventory but are still working to improve that feature so that that's awesome so if you guys are all going on the same ship and you guys need to bring cargo or items or anything you could all pull it from your own personal hangar into your own personal inventory or warehouse um, and put it all into one ship and, and then move it. So that's, I think that's really cool. Next it says, can you change the location of your personal hangar? And it says uh, what they responded was, it's not for the release of the personal hangar, but we want to give the option for players in the future. It's possible to have multiple hangars in different locations 
especially since uh, we will have more than one solar system in the future. There is a balance to find so that you can't just summon anything anywhere and think about the logistics and we want players to benefit from good choices. So my thoughts on this is um, it does make sense um, to, to be able to purchase hangers. I think that's something uh, everybody will want, but also um, there should be some limitation in terms of being able to just go anywhere and then spawn a ship there. I think the way um, CIG, I think CIG needs to take um, some some ideas from Elite Dangerous. They did it in such a way that if you have a ship in a certain solar system and um, you are far out in a different side of uh, on, at another solar system, instead of just um, claiming it, um, I think you'll have to transfer that vehicle and it will take and it will use NPC um, um, an NPC mechanism where there will be a transfer time that will transfer your ship from that solar system over to the current solar system where you want it at that station. So um, I think that I think they should implement something like that. Um, and, it sh and, and that time will depend on how far of a distance between those two systems. So I think they should employ something like that. Uh, to this way it feels more realistic right it feels like your ship actually has to be shipped out there for you to actually receive it in your hangar up next it says what is the occupancy limit in the personal hangar they said there is no limit nothing can stop you from inviting everyone on a server you can try uh so that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool um next it says can we draw weapons in our personal hangars um their answer is no for now it's only tools like the tracked beam, maybe in the future in locations like Grimhex, but um, we don't want hangars to be a fighting area. We'll revisit this uh, once we have more security features. I think that's fair enough. Um, I don't see any reason uh, why, I guess you can do like practice FPS um, scenarios inside of your hangar. If it's big enough, right? You can just do teams right there, um, but that would be pretty cool. Um, but next it says how can we decorate our personal hangar and it says you're going to be able to buy furniture in game and decorate your hangers with that that's pretty cool can't wait to see what the options are but this will also i believe will lead into the entire um base building mechanic where they are essentially going to start off with hangers personal hangers being essentially your base and giving us the ability to also um, uh, do crafting as well, to be able to craft items. You know, they can introduce that. They can introduce crafting inside of our hangers. If we want something like a, a nice furniture and you can craft it with only certain items, you can have like a crafting station and you have to find the material which you can only find in the PU. You go out, you do exploration and you find it and then you can come and bring it to your hangar and craft it at your crafting station to allow you to um, fabricate that item, right? So um, I think that's going to be an easy win for them to start testing the um, base building mechanics like this. But I also see them eventually allowing us to uh, go to land claims and, 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 and claiming and be able to actually build bases um, like that as well. Okay, so next it says, how does manual and automatic loading work it says a small outpost is not a place where you're going to be able to do a lot of trading you won't have access to automatic loading in the small location the idea is that the places are for manual loading unloading and smaller trading the biggest locations however will have automatic loading unloading as these places are made for high volume trade um, we want to differentiate the two gameplays and the trade routes. There will be different facilities depending on the location, small, medium, large, extra large. Even at small outposts, the freight elevators will have will uh, be very close to the hangar pad, but we will have to move boxes manually. The automatic load time and prices will be adjusted as we progress in the development of the game and your feedback as always will be important to us which i think makes sense um i think they they should um i think as we play there should be times when we have to do manual loading and there will be times where 
we will have the option to also do automatic loading. Um, I think it will further enrich um, the experience, I think, um, instead of uh, having automatic loading everywhere you go. You know, it'll kind of help slow down the game, and I think that's the intent of CIG. They want to slow it down, and you don't want people grinding through the gameplay so quickly and then get bored within a week after a patch releases okay so um next it says is the mass of cargo still planned to affect ship performance and it says yes but not for this release we are actively working on it anything that is inside of the cargo grid doesn't affect the mass at the moment but in the future we want you to think about how loading your ship is as it will affect how the ship is handled and i think also maybe your weight could also affect um quantum quantum drive fuel um consumption it should i feel like it should also affect your jump range or whether you can go through a certain wormhole depending on the mass of your ship you know and things of that nature so um, but i'd be interested to find out more about this Next, it says, can we attach anything to the cargo grid? It says vehicles and ships and even corpses won't be able to be attached to the cargo grid. It says as long as something is in a box, you will be able to attach it to the cargo grid. Next, it says, can you sell the cargo mission boxes elsewhere and steal them? And it says the cargo missions will have the goods intended to go to a precise destination. You will get fined and it will be a lesser value and the item will be flagged if you intend to sell these cargo boxes elsewhere. That's I think that's fair enough. The last question they ask here is ship lift. Can you call multiple vehicles or ships at the same time? It says not for the first release, but you can move the ship or vehicle elsewhere, then call something else. That's, uh, that's something um, I think I anticipated that we'll be doing anyways, um, but it's good to hear that we'll have some areas to actually put other vehicles so that we can spawn another one and then put a vehicle inside of a ship. You guys let me know your thoughts on these points down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.